Hey, what's up guys? This is our next stop on our 10,000 mile road trip. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and today we're just gonna visit a whole bunch of random stuff. A lot to do with cool architecture. Like behind me, this is a prayer tower, shaped like a UFO. It's just such an odd building. It's cool, it's really cool, but it makes me feel like I'm in Disney. It is like Tomorrowland. It, that's exactly what it feels like. There's a flame at the top. We're wandering around Oral Roberts University and all of the architecture here is so unique and random. It's cool. Methodist Church. It was completed in 1929 and it's considered to be one of the finest examples of ecclesiastical art deco architecture in the United States. And it was designated as a National Historic Landmark in This place has a drive through <laughs> If they have an open door, we're gonna find it. We're trying every one of them. <laughs> we found the drive through There's a light on inside. <gasps> So cool. What'd that you think? That was amazing to be able to do that. I don't know if we're supposed to be in there. But it was really cool. Highly recommend going in there. So this is the Boston church that we were just at. And now we're at the Phil Cage building. That WP is for Wait Phillips, which is the same guy who donated his mansion to be the Philbrook Museum that we were at yesterday. This is the Jazz Hall of Fame. Behind us, over here, is the center of the universe. I can hear you, I, I can hear you just fine. It, it's like, I'm in, I can hear myself, but it sounds like I'm in a tunnel. Like huh. I'm talking within a tunnel, like I feel like my voice is magnified in some way. Cool. It's so weird. Whoa, it like echoes. Yeah. How does it do that? But there's nothing around me. That is crazy. Whoa, that's weird. You sound normal to me though. Yeah, you sound normal when I'm out of it. Not doing it right. Oh, can I hear it. Can you hear the echo? I hear it. I can hear it. I hear it. Woohoo! It's not really an echo though. It's more just no, like. It's, it's like you're in a tunnel. Like you're in a tunnel or like. I, 
somebody like yeah the second ah. thing was to talk across from each other yeah can you hear it yeah i hear it on you yeah that's really crazy <laughs> <laughs> i don't think the camera can really pick it up though oh well that means you should just come here, right here, to the Wait, center I, of the universe. Do I sound weird to you? Because you sound like you're echoing to me. Yeah. I put a symbolic 60 foot totem pole like sculpture called Artificial Cloud by Native American artists in the scene. And you only enhance the mystique. There's definitely no shortage of cool, random things to see in Tulsa. Is there more to see? Yep, let's go. <laughs> The tower and these plaques, they talk about the history of Tulsa and the crazy prejudices and violence that happened here and then the rebuilding and reconciliation and yeah, it's, there's some nasty stuff that happened here before. It's just, it's awful. Guthrie Green. It's Sunday and they've got live music here in the park. It's cool. Just driving around. This is cool. We keep circling around to see all the street art and the graffiti. <laughs> We're wandering around the East Village of Tulsa and it's really cool. There's a lot of murals on the street. And right now we're in a place called Box Yard. It has all these stores and uh, storage containers. It's really cool. We found another impressive example of Art Deco. This is the Fire Alarm Building. Directed in 1931. I don't think you even realized this, but this is Route 66. I didn't even know it came through Tulsa. Oh, my hair's stuck in the window. I rolled up my window. My hair's stuck. <laughs> Driving up Route 66, we found another cool building. We don't know anything about this, but yeah, it's cool. What is it? The Public Market, 1929. Hey, it is Art Deco, it's original. I see him. Do you see him, Brian? Yeah, Do you see him? like a sandstone. He's giant. Here. Fifth tallest statue in the United States, the Golden Driller. <laughs> so we're back at our Airbnb. We Eating made dinner. some pasta, it's delicious. And our last stop was the Warren Theater. Which, what is the Warren Theater? It was really cool. It's just an old like Art Deco based theater and they still do like dinner and a movie and treat you good like they're little like behind the counter concession people have like button up white shirts on with like cufflinks. I actually don't know if they have cufflinks but It, it seems like a really good. cool date night. Yeah, like they have a diner there. It's really cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but right now we're gonna plan our day tomorrow. We are driving to St. Louis. We're gonna stop along the way and see a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. and then explore St. Louis and then Nashville, Mammoth Caves, and then, oh, you know, like 8,000 more miles. A lot of miles. fun stuff. Yeah, so we'll see you on the road. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all the rest of the adventures. Sure. Bye. <laughs>